back again with another video in this video we are going to see how you can install magento in your mac machine so here i have written everything uh, you know about in brief something what are the things which is required to install magento 2 so first of all i am going to some uh, things so uh, you know uh, what you need to do mac machine of course so you need to mac machine and uh, what you need to do the php latest version you need to install the php you know latest version which is a 2.4 or something and also uh, the things is required which is the elastic search uh, latest version and uh, any things which is required which is a mam software uh, especially for the you know database things so you can control manage things so of course and a server also once you install the mam also you can install the like a server things like apache something okay so here what we have done i'm going to show you everything things about it okay so now just scroll down um, and also you can check here what is the pre-requirement we need to you know before installing the magento 2 here the some example uh, you can check uh, like uh, you know apache 2.2 something and nginx something database we are going to use this you know mysql same for the php latest version which is at uh, 7.4 something elastic search which is a 7.7 .7 composer we need to so i'm expecting guys you can install this you know relate which is uh, related to you know uh, magento something so you can once you install the you know sub setup so what you can do you can check uh, like a uh, configuration things whatever you need so i've already given the links also like a map you need of course you can click on this link and you can go and uh, also the port is required whenever you know set up the those things so and uh, here the select the radio button all the everything i have written so how you can check it okay chop apache which version you are using here you can check it from the user okay and uh, like uh, what we need to i said like a composer something what are they stop to install the magento you know uh, sorry composer setups of course you can follow this step also so once you've done you can check all the, the compo composer which you know running your system so once uh, these things install then you can install the you know magento so you can click on this link and uh, let me click on this link so once you click on the this link you can also install the which is a you know latest version of the uh, magento so like here uh, once you can just scroll down and you can check here suppose you want to you know include the sample data of course you can click on this uh, you know checkbox checkbox button uh, the size is now 435 something you don't want any sample data so just click on the download button you can you know install the setup whatever what is required so i installed it with uh, you know some demo demo data also so once you set up the su successfully then you need to you know move on this folder and you can uh, you know drag and drop something everything and you extract the folder so once you extract the folder you need to install which you know uh, like a 2.41 we have installed which is elastic search, uh, search then you can install these things so after this uh, you successfully uh, install the elastic search you can check local host and port number is 9229200 so my configurations look like this and uh, just scroll down and also you can open that which is a php my admin so you can open that command also you can create a database whatever is required so once you've set up the you hope so you know what are the things is required before installations uh, like you, we have set up the mam also we need to uh, cre create the database uh, so what are the things which required like a path and uh, then we need to put the username password and database name like in this you know setup i have given everything so before running this command you should take care about the your configuration settings like we have given the name name which is the backend frontend name which is the admin also whatever you want you can put here whatever user uh, is required okay frontend name basically for the admin uh, db host we have given the local 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 uh, you know host same for the db name and uh, user and password something and the currency we have set up here and the base url we need to you know suppose you're installing the server of course you need to put here the in the base url which is a server url basically and uh, after that we also have like a user something okay admin user and same for the password also we have and email address you can put whatever email address you have and just scroll down and uh, you check here we have the admin user and password something same so after this running successfully command this will take little bit time jo so keep keep patience after this what uh, the things is which is required uh, step seven now we are you can run this command after running this command also you can check directly you know uh, the admin something you will get this kind of you know stuff so once you this uh, website working fine what you need to do you need to you know uh, two factor authentication disable otherwise you need to you know 
configure the two factor authentications like a OTP something you need to uh, you know quick uh, QR code something so we disable these features so you know using this command you can disable the uh, link and also I want to show something like a uh, suppose you want to hosting and domain plan you can check from the domain register here you can search easily like a domain uh, okay so we are right now in india so i'm going to click on the inr currency if you are in the usa any other countries you can select depends on the currency so here uh, you can search like any level whatever domain you want after that you can select the hosting plan also here the cheapest hosting is you know as a compared to any other service provider which is a really you know cheapest like here you can get the 40 percent discount something also like a 59 rupees per month and 99 rupees 169 and 249 depend the plan is definitely the you know you can get the unlimited stories also unlimited three website and domain something and also the, this using if you're going to this plan for the long duration so you can check here the free domain hosting plan also as all features uh silver pack and bandwidth also unlimited and uh, light speech technology and also you can contact with the you know 24 into 7 which is customer support and the customer support features also you know amazing uh, so these features are available in the domain if you need any other help let me know definitely i will try to make another video thank you for watching this video